Did you know two-thirds of U.S. water systems contain uranium? So what's going on with this? Today we're taking a look at community health care system to understand more. So taking a look, two-thirds of U.S. community water systems have detectable levels of uranium and the highest levels are in Hispanic communities. Previous studies have found associations between chronic uranium exposure and increased risk of hypertension, cardiovascular disease, kidney damage, and lung cancer at high levels of exposure, said researcher Ann Negra, assistant professor of environmental sciences at Columbia University. Even at low concentrations, uranium, a radioactive metal, is an important risk factor for chronic diseases. So there's really not a safe amount of uranium. Even at small levels, there's problems. But the problem is there's been little research on chronic uranium exposure from tap water. About 90% of Americans rely on community water systems. So it's not really practical to say, hey, this is a problem, just get a water filter, because eventually someone will have to use tap water for some type of usage. And between 2000 and 2011, 22.1% of those water systems had an average annual uranium concentration that exceeded EPA maximums, and uranium was detected in water systems 63% of the time during compliance monitoring. According to the U.S. CDC and Prevention, ingesting large quantities of uranium can cause several cancers and damage kidneys. Also, semi-urban Hispanic communities had the highest levels of uranium, as well as selenium, barium, chromium, and arsenic, the study found. Elevated levels of these metals were found in Hispanic communities, independent of location or region, and raising concerns for these communities and the possibility of inequalities in public drinking water, according to findings published in April 6 in the Lancet Planetary Health. The consistent association between elevated levels of uranium and other metals in drinking water suggests a failure of regulatory policy or water treatment rather than underlying geology. And they noted Hispanic Americans also have been disproportionately affected and have a number of health disparities, including increased death due to diabetes as well as liver, kidney, and heart disease. So it may affect these communities more in having water that's contaminated with high amounts of uranium in these communities makes the problem worse. Additional regulatory policies, compliance enforcement, and improved infrastructure are therefore necessary to reduce disparities in community water systems. Metal concentrations and protect communities served by water systems with elevated metal concentrations. She said in a news release, such interventions and policies should be specifically protect the most highly exposed communities to advance environmental justice and protect public health. So this is a very interesting take, and it's actually quite alarming to see two-thirds of the U.S. water systems do contain uranium. So this is a big problem. So you might think, well, it might not be in my water system, but there's no way to know that. Now, there can be more regulations, but how do you know if it's actually in your water system? You have to test it. That's why it's always a good idea to periodically test your water for high levels of uranium.